Hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog. Today we are doing Christmassy things. So we did our Christmas cruise at the beginning of this month. Today we're doing Christmas cookies. And we have a special guest. Hello! You always make that same accent every time. I do, hands together. Hands together. Hands together. <laughs> um, so don't mind the luggage back there. That's still our luggage from our Disney World trip. It's my mom's. But we have to go give it to her. Oh, I'm like, hey. <laughs> so we're making two different kinds of cookies in this video. No, I'm sorry. Three different kinds of cookies in this video. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. I've already pre-portioned everything. Three? three of the peanut butter blossom. Mm -hmm. Which I chose. The cranberry orange oh, one. Which he, and he then, chose. Which I chose. And then the other uh, shortbread one, which you're going to half dip in chocolate. You guys will see. Which I chose. <laughs> yeah. So I've already done my mise en place, which means every, with everything is in its place, pre-portioned. It's, it's, it's in French. It's my favorite thing that he does when baking. I just think it's so like aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, it's just, it makes it so much easier. This right here is for one of the batch of cookies. And then that over here is the second batch of cookies. And I made a third one behind the scenes earlier this morning. So one last thing to do. Cute, what are these for? That's for the cranberry orange one, sanding sugar. Cute. Ready to get started? Ready. All right, I'm looking at the recipe here on my computer, so that's what I'm gonna be looking at. Stephanie's actually gonna help today. I was just thinking about how it's not time for you to take a nap yet. For me to take a nap? <laughs> no napping today. It's two o'clock and we're, we're making three batches of cookies and no time to nap. So we've done Game all that. time, baby. All right, in a large bowl using a hand, hand mixer. But this is the cranberry ones. No, this is not. This is a classic peanut butter. Beat the butter for one minute on high speed until creamy. So I'm going to put all the links down below of the recipes that we're using. I am using Sally's Baking Addiction. Have you ever heard of her? No. Nope. Maybe your mom has. Maybe. Stephanie's mom is a baker as well. She ain't as good as me though. But she, she I. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm telling her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, do the next step. Close it. Close it. And turn it on. Turn it on. Well, for one minute on high speed until creamy. Next, we're adding the sugar. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Not at the same time. I know, I didn't need to do that. I get a little bossy in the kitchen. Your world! You're just living in it. Alright, next step is we're gonna add our egg. It's always so hard to add the egg into the mixer. Add the eggy. Add the eggy. Combine about one minute, scrape down the sides and the whole if needed. Add the peanut butter and the vanilla extract. We're pretty much almost done. Once we do this, then we add the flour and then we're good to go. Uh, now we're gonna beat it. Vanilla. Oh yeah, vanilla. We can just estimate, what does it say, like one teaspoon? That's good enough. And now we're gonna add the flour. Make sure it goes in the bowl. Because sometimes I get it outside of the bowl by accident, so. Teamwork makes the dream work. And thanks to John who cleared the dishwasher because now I can just put all the dirty dishes right into the dishwasher. Shout out to my boy, John. <laughs> Yesterday, Francesco and I spent an hour and a half trying to learn the Megan Trainer dance. We did. Didn't go too well. Did not. <laughs> TikTok not coming anytime soon. <laughs> you were doing good. You just got to memorize the steps. So one of the things that I do when baking cookies is I, I don't I don't let the mixer fold in all the flour because I don't want it to like overwork. So I do the rest by by hand. Lift it. We can scrape the paddle off. Push it down, and then we can. Mix in the rest of the flour by hand. Mmm, that tastes good. You're gonna get salmonella. Taste it. No. It's really good. Salmonella. Comment down below if you've ever gotten salmonella from eating cookie dough, raw cookie dough. Comment I'm, down below. We hope you have it. We hope that you have it. How likely is that? It's true. People put like raw eggs in their like protein shakes, but like, mm, mm, that's weird. You eat raw cookie dough when whenever we bake the Toll House cookies. You're not supposed to tell people that. Mmm, look good. Now take it out and you can fold it in the rest. All right, so now we can set this to the side. Uh, so now it says scoop and roll cookie dough about one heaping tablespoon of dough each. So we gotta roll it in, we gotta roll it in sugar. First batch of cookies is complete. Look at those, beautiful. Now we gotta let them uh, cool down just a little bit and then we're gonna add our Hershey's Kisses. All right, on to our next batch of cookies or our next cookie recipe. Our peanut butter blossoms are complete. We finished those, that was pretty quick, right? 
Super easy. Less than an hour. Um, now we're moving on to our orange cranberry shortbread cookies. Like the recipe looks very impressive. Yeah, they're, these are like icebox cookies. So we're gonna roll them into a log and then we're gonna slice them. So it's my first time making this type of cookie. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna use the butter and then the sugar. And then what's the next step? Beat it! Beat it! Now that we beat it, now you add the egg. Teamwork makes the dream work. One egg for this recipe. Oh, and some vanilla. We'll just eyeball this part. You're always eyeballing, bro. You can eyeball vanilla. That is one of those things that it's fine to eyeball. Babe, you want to try peanut butter blossom or you want to wait till after lunch? And then we're going to scrape it down, scrape down the sides. I don't know why, this is my least favorite part about baking. It's scraping down the sides. I feel like it gets messy. I do think that they have like a specific paddle that's made just to scrape the side of the bowl. <laughs> now the next step, we're going to add the flour. Also one of my least favorite steps. Adding the dry. Nerve wracking. You got it, baby. I didn't even make a mess. All right, next we're gonna add, yeah, now we add, we need only, not all of that, only two tablespoons. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of orange juice. One, two, all right? And then we can save the rest for our glaze at the end. And our zest, right? Yeah, you can add all the zest. Oh, and we gotta, we gotta add the cranberries as well. So it says the cookie dough will be thick and slightly sticky. And then add- All of them? Uh, yeah, why not? I like cranberries. You do? Now we're gonna combine that really quick. So I just rolled the batter into two logs and now these are going to go in the fridge for two to three hours. All that baking wore me out and not to mention I did go to an Orange Theory fitness class today. So I worked out, baked cookies, hi baby. And now we're going to go to lunch. We've been craving Five Guys burgers for the longest time. Um, so we're going to do that today. Hi mama. Hi. Ready for lunch? Ready. Here we are at Five Guys. This is your first time at Five Guys. I mean, yes, that I've eaten that I think of. I don't think I ever ate that. I think I had the fries out. And your first time too. We're gonna eat outside because it's nice and chilly. Or not chilly, it's cool today. $60 later. <laughs> the most expensive burger and fries ever. Well, we were 40 something and I'm sure you're like 20 something. I know. I hope it's worth it. Oh, it will be worth it. It's delicious. Yeah, look at look how juicy this looks. I wanna see Stephanie's reaction. It's so good. What do you think? Fire. Wow. Scale of one to ten. Ten. Ten? Nine. How about you, babe? It's really good. What look at this. Definitely a ten. A ten? Yeah. Mmm. Like that's what I like to hear. Now that we're back home from Five Guys, time to continue with the rest of the Christmas cookie baking process. This is the one that I made earlier. It's just a regular shortbread cookie dough, and I had it rolled up in plastic wrap. Now we're just gonna slice it up. Hope it's very buttery. Cookies are finally baked. They don't look the roundest, but they're nice, right? No, they're gonna be so cute once we dip them. This is our decorating station. We have melting chocolate wafers, which is this stuff. Which we've already snacked on quite a bit. <laughs> so good. So good. And then we have some crushed pistachios, and then we have some crushed peppermint. Oh, you know what we gotta get? The sea salt. Because we're gonna do some more sea salt? Yeah, I thought you wanted to. Sea salt. Okay, time to decorate. And then we still have a whole another cookie to bake. I told you it's gonna take a long time. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? We finished decorating, so that took about uh, five minutes. That was the fastest decorating I've ever done. Ooh, what do you think? Oh, they look pretty. Pretty, right? Yeah, they look like those black and white cookies almost. Yeah, kind of. This has sea salt, and that has peppermint, and that's pistachio. And now we still have one more cookie to bake. Which I'm actually pretty excited about. It was his cookie, and I was like, oh So wait, God. so why did you make these all different, and not just like more pistachio? What? Why did you put like... <laughs> And that is a wrap. No more cookie baking. I am done. It is 7.39. We've been doing this all day. While I'm slaving over here over a hot oven, Stephanie's over there. I've been helping you. So we set these up really cute over here. These are the only ones that I have not yet tried. Tried those. These are pretty good. The blossoms are good. You happy with our day? With all of our cookies? You're so tired. I know, me too, I'm pooped. This definitely took up most of the day. Well, now you can go home and go to sleep because Stephanie has to work tomorrow. You want to tell people what you do for a living? Hi, if you're new to the 
the channel. My name's Stephanie. I'm Francesco's like very best friend. Sorry, Coco. Um, and also, I'm a registered nurse. Damn, yeah, that's a lot of cookies there, girl. I'm gonna bring them to my coworkers. What a day, what a day. What a day, what a day, what a world. I start a three day trip tomorrow and it'll be my last trip before Christmas. Um, so I'll be off Christmas Eve and then Christmas Day, I don't go to work until like 8 p.m. So I'm pretty much off most of Christmas Day. What a good holiday season it's been, huh? It has been. Right? Mm -hmm. It's been going, everything's going fast though, I feel like. Yeah. Like Halloween was just here mm -hmm. and now we're, Christmas is almost here. What's going on? Yeah. And when? And Wednesday, Adam is taking the world by storm right now. Oh, she sure is. But yeah, it's gone by so fast. I even haven't even wrapped any Christmas presents. But that's why I'm glad that at least I'll be off Christmas Eve to be able to do that. I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Thanks so much for watching. Wait, I thought you said you, you didn't have time to wrap up gifts. I'm going to wrap oh, up the video. Do -do -do -do. Oh. If you're new here, please subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video. I hope everyone's having a good holiday season. All right, bye.